Microsoft Fabric, Real-Time Analytics, a sequel surprise? Ooh, this is gonna be good. Next on Tales from the Field. What you wanna be? Step four. Fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. This is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the creators in the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. Then on Monday and Wednesday, we have our MS Tech Bits, where we highlight something specific that we found in working with a product group or working with a customer, or something we found on our own to be able to help you along the way. That's one of those now. Let's get over to that great content. All right, everybody, we are covering the real-time analytics tutorial introduction for Microsoft Fabric. Link to this documentation will be in the description of the video. Specifically, we are covering one through six, create resources, get data with event stream, get historical data, explore data in SQL and KQL, use advanced KQL queries and Power BI reports. Let's go. All right, we're over in our workspace. I'm gonna click on new, show all, and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna create my KQL database. I'm going to name this something simple. Use the documentation NY Taxi DB demo. I'm going to click create and this will create the KQL database that we're going to end up using. One big thing I need to do, I need to click on my one lake folder. I need to make it active to where I am writing to my one lake whenever I create a table. If you need the link, the folder link is handily there in the GUI. Then we go over to Brad and Raj's workspace. I'm going to click on new show all and now i need to create my event stream i go down i click on my event stream and i'm going to type something simple new york taxi trips event stream i want it to be named exactly what it is and i'm going to click create now this might take a little while to spin up underneath the covers we're creating a whole bunch of streaming components for us to be able to utilize in a very graphical and easy user-friendly fashion so once this is created i need to create my source i'm going to say sample data I'm going to name my source something simple, uh, NY Taxi Trip Source. I have sample data to choose from. I'm already on the yellow taxi. I click Add, and now I need to configure my destination. Let's go for a Q KQL database. We're going to name this NY Taxi Database. I'm going to select my workspace, and then I'm going to select the database that we have created. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to specify a new table that I want this data to be streamed into. We're going to call it New York Taxi Trips. I'm going to go next to my source. It's going to look at the data connection. And you can see I have data strings and text. I'm going to go to JSON. Magic! Look at how it parsed this JSON, put everything in nice columns and rows. I now need to change a couple data types. Make sure you follow the documentation. And then I'm going to click Next and Summary. This is going to begin loading our data. Once this is done, I can click close and it will be ready to stream my data, but I need to wait for the database and now it's going. Now I have everything in place that I need. So I'm gonna click on the New York Taxi demo database. I'm gonna get some additional data from a blob container. I'm going to get my locations data and this is going to be from the blob URL that we have in the documentation. I'm going to look at this data. It's my borough, my locations. Yep, let's go ahead and let's just click next. Let's load this in. There's my example. Now I can refresh and I can see I have location and I've already got streaming data in place. Going back to my event stream, let's see how it's performing. If I click on data insights, I can see the data that's coming through, the inputs, the outputs that we have. So we'll be able to see our behavior, which is really cool. Now let's do some querying. Let's go into New York Taxi Trips. Let's query the table and let's show the top 100 records. The nice thing is we can save this immediately as a KQL query set. So that way we can play around with this. I'm calling it Brad KQL one and it's got my query right there. Now, remember, we did a whole video on how we can turn T SQL to KQL in seconds using explain. And the great thing is that works here in fabric as well. I can do explain select star from New York taxi trips. Sure enough, I get my KQL query that I could just go ahead and run and boom, I can get my results. But I noticed something. I noticed something pretty amazing in the New York taxi trips under query SQL show top 100 records. Well, that's T SQL. Hold on. Let's just paste this into our window and let's check this out. Run magic. Oh my goodness. We have New York taxi trips T SQL 
that we can use against a KQL database. Well, let's play around with this. Select top tip amount, fare amount from New York's taxi trips where distance is greater than a mile. Order by trip distance descending. More magic. We get these results back. This is going to open up a whole new world of what we could do with a KQL database with, with all this amazing stuff that we can do with Cousteau. Fantastic stuff. Okay. But let's keep going. We're going to go back to our database. We're going to get a new related item because I want to be able to create my KQL query set specifically to be able to populate a report because we're trying to get through the entire tutorial. So I'm going to create this. I'm going to wipe away the, what it's given us. I don't need all this extra data that's in here. I'm going to leave the header. It is nice to have the header in there, but I'm going to paste what I need for my report. Specifically, I'm looking at New York taxi trips. I want to get the borough, the zone, the latitude, and I want to build a Power BI report with this. The amazing thing is I can take this data set specifically from my database, from within this query, and I can put in a map, and then I can put in my longitude and my latitude within that map. I can put in my borough as my legend, and then we can take our count as our bubble size and we've immediately populated this. Let's do a little bar chart to be able to make sure it's nice and easy to read too. I'm not the expert the guy in a queue is. Make sure to go check out the guy in a cube channel. But I can put my burrow in as my y-axis. I can put my count in as my x-axis. And I can see where are these different locations. What do I want to do? I want to save this. So let's save the report. I'm going to enter in a pretty simple name for this. I'm going to say... Uh, let's put it in my workspace that I've got with Naraj. And now I'm going to name this something uh, autofill, right? Uh, NY Taxi Maps Reports Demo. And sensitivity, uh, it's great that we've got the sensitivity in here, but this is non-business. This is just a demo, simple demo. I'm going to continue with this. And once this process is, I can click on this link. And once I click on this link, I can open up the full report in Microsoft Fabric. Now here's something really important. We want to click on edit. We want to go to the pane and then we want to set the refresh. We want to turn that on and we can set this for every 10 seconds that we can have this report auto refresh against our KQL database. So as we get more streaming data in, this will update. So what do we cover? We covered a lot. First off, we did an end-to-end -end scenario using real-time streaming and with Kusto, KQL, Azure Data Explorer in Microsoft Fabric, creating reports off of it as well. Also, we discussed the magic that is now T-SQL capabilities to be able to query against a Kusto database. That's just mind-blowing. So much good stuff. You know where we like to keep this going? In the comments below. Do you have any questions? Anything you'd like to see? We would love to hear from you. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. Take care of everybody. Bye. Good food, good mood, blood and circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it.